Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Yang Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. How would you describe your daily lives, your daily living? What is the key word that best describes your daily living? Will you describe your life as a joyful life? You may have joy in your lives, at home, at work, at community, at church. What else? Will you describe your life as a passionate life? Your daily living may be full of passion. Passion to take care of your neighbors, passion to do good at work, passion for your church and community. Yes, we may have these positive images in our daily living. But at the same time, our lives consist of conflict and struggles as well as joy and passion. Many people around the world today, people in the United States, people in the state of Kansas, still live with struggles under pressure. People have conflict with each other for many reasons. They are divided. People are under pressure. They are stressful for many reasons. In this situation, where and how would you find gladness? Is there any place you find gladness? Is there any way you find joy? Let us remember as we begin this day and a week, God is the one who can restore gladness and joy in us. Do you have a busy life, hectic schedule? Are you under pressure? Are you stressful, struggling? Please remember, God is the one who can restore gladness in you and in your heart. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Yang Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, mountain time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. Where do you find gladness? How do you find joy? I hope you have some places that you can find gladness out of your lives. Especially if you have a busy life schedule, if you live under certain pressure, I hope you have places or way to find joy and gladness. You may call it like a self-care or stress management. And I hope church is one of the places you find gladness. If you do not find gladness in any places at all, that is not good. That is not healthy. On the other hand, if we find gladness and joy at some other places but not in the church, that's just something we need to think about our faith and spiritual life again. We are created to find true gladness, permanent joy, not a temporal one, the eternal one. Not a conditional joy, but unconditional joy. We are supposed to find it in the place of worship. Have you lost gladness in your lives, in your hearts? Please remember, you are created to be able to find it in the place of worship. So please restore gladness in you to the place of worship and be glad 
to worship God. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Young Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, Mountain Time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. God has created us to have gladness when we go to the house of the Lord. Psalm 122 says, I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. In today's version, in my personal translation, it's saying like this, I was glad when my parents said to me, Let us go to church and worship. I was glad when my, fr my friends said to me, Hey, let us go to the church and worship together. Do we have gladness like this when we go to church and worship? Do we have joy when we go to the place of worship? Worship should be something glad and joyful for us. If any of us has no gladness when worshiping, we need to restore that joy in this Advent season. God has made us to be glad when we worship. We need to restore that gladness right now. No, not later, right now. How can we restore that joy? How can we restore that gladness? We can restore it by remembering that God is the one who can restore the gladness, the permanent gladness, eternal gladness, unconditional gladness in us. Let us remember that God can do it for us. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Young Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, Mountain Time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship either in person or online through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. Psalm 122 describes Jerusalem as a city of peace. It says that Jerusalem is built as a city bound firmly together, and the tribes go up to the worship God together. Tribes, there might be there uh, were all different tribes at the time, different groups of people bound together and went up to the house of the Lord in Jerusalem and worshipped together. This is what uh, Psalm 122 says. Here, we are all different as well today in the community and churches. We all have different names, different faces, different lifestyles, different life stages, and so on. But all of us can worship together. Psalm 122 describes Jerusalem a city of peace, but actually Jerusalem, it has been a place of struggle for a long time. All different temples were built and destroyed. Different people had different thoughts, different beliefs, and even worshiping different gods. So they had conflict each other in Jerusalem over their differences. People fought each other to take and dominate the land of Jerusalem. Likewise, the city of Jerusalem was the place of conflict and struggles. But God changed a city of conflict into a city of gladness, into a city of 
peace. This is what God does in the world. Let us remember today, God is the one who turns the darkness into light, sorrow into joy, frustration into hope. Let us restore the joy in our God, therefore. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church. Good morning. Today's devotion is brought to you by the people of Gulland United Methodist Church. My name is Young Hwan Won. I'm a pastor here in the Gulland United Methodist Church. We gather for worship service on Sundays at 10.30 in the morning, Mountain Time, and we exist as a church to help people to be connected with God and with one another. We'd like to invite you into our worship, either in person or online, through our Facebook page. We'd like to learn your name and get to know you. I am sharing devotion in the morning, Monday through Friday. I hope this is a reminder for you that the message of God is with you, not only at the church on Sundays, but also with you in your life situations throughout the week. The book of Psalm 30 says this, You have turned my sadness into dancing. You have taken off my sorrow and clothed with me with joy. This is what God does for us. He turned the city of darkness and struggle, which was Jerusalem, into the city of peace and gladness. Likewise, God changes us. God changes the world. God fills us with gladness. God fills, uh, fills the world with peace. God would like us to discover hope, gladness, and possibilities, even when no one else cannot, can see them. When, no one, when, when everyone says there is no hope, no joy, no possibility, God would like us to not give up on hope. And He would like us to continue to walk in the light of God. What does consist of our lives? We not only have joy and gladness in our lives, but also some struggles, conflict, busyness, the, the hectic schedule. In this situation, God would like us to restore gladness, the permanent gladness in the place of worship, in the church community, which is the body of Christ. God can turn our darkness into gladness. So we have the gladness as we go to the house of God, the place of worship. So let us make our daily living a worshiping moment and restore the gladness in Him. Today's devotion is from the Gulland United Methodist Church.